Hey guys, Kimara here, and I'm gonna give you a complete tour of my recording studio in its entirety, including things that tend to not make the camera angles. <laughs> so yes, this is my studio slash my cat's apartment. This is her litter box and where she eats. And she's got a little cute place to sleep right there. And right there is where we cuddle on the floor a lot. <laughs> I'd say I pretty much designed the studio half for recording and half for content creation. So this is kind of like a cute little backdrop for when I am filming. We'll call this the control room. This is my main desk where I do my mixing, sort of. I actually don't really do final mixes here. Got another little kind of filming nook slash reading nook that I don't read in right here. And then my lovely vocal booth as well as I just got this mirror and I'm going to do some singing videos right in the mirror. Okay, first I wanna show you how my recording studio itself is configured. Okay, so I do make changes a lot and I have to like redo my cable management all the freaking time. So it's a little bit messy. I think I do a pretty good job of hiding it all below my desk, but let's go down here and you can see what's going on. Okay, yeah, so below the hood, I have my uh, MacBook Pro down here. I love to be able to edit on the go, so I am a laptop person. I've got this cool HDMI connector. It has two HDMI cords in it and this button that I can just hit with my toe to switch my view from the monitor on my desk to the monitor in my booth, which I'll show you in a minute. And then I just have my external hard drive and my interface plugged in here. Got my printer and then a whole hot mess of cables that I keep undoing to redo and then I just give up and leave it like that. Got my keyboard here, by the way, big, big shout out to Aramundo and one of my favorite composers and also really good at woodworking. I designed this desk and he helped me build it. So this is a Chimera original piece of furniture. It's three pieces. We have the main desk with a drawer. We have this really like narrow additional table just for the monitor and the monitors. And then we made this adorable side table for my drinks, which where is my drink? Little lavender bubbly, one and a half years, no alcohol, but I still like to make it fancy there. Okay, so what's going on on my desk? I do have a cute little Shure, whatever their low-end microphone was for podcasting. Pretty much just bought it because it was white, but it actually sounds pretty good. Extra set of headphones, white boom arm. Uh, these speakers are pretty much for show. I actually don't play music on my speakers very much. I write almost all my songs in the car and then I just go into the vocal booth and record them and get a demo mix and headphones. Kind of weird when you work on so much music, you kind of like don't really listen to it very much. So you can see I've got a wireless keyboard and mouse. I have another one in the booth and a 25 foot HDMI cable that is running from my laptop Across the, you can see that black snake running around. It goes back here and then into the back of the booth and into the monitor that's in here. We'll go in there in a second. Also what's on this desk, we've got the amp for the Manly reference. This is my microphone. And this is the Apogee Symphony desktop. I use that interface. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my toe to change the HDMI cable to shut off this screen and turn on this screen. And then we can go into the booth. So now Pro Tools is showing it on there. Probably sounds a lot better in here, but sorry, I'm just using the iPhone audio for this video. It's so sorry if it's eh. But here is my beautiful Manly. I put a curtain in the booth. We can see out to the nook when I'm recording. I can see all the way out to um, downstairs. I've got my second set of <laughs> controls here. And because I have that Apogee Symphony, Apogee comes with um, this software called Control 2 and I can actually just adjust my gain levels right here in the booth. So that is hella convenient. Got my acoustic uh, panels I'm quite proud of because I made them myself. So if they look a little janky on the corners, that's because I made them and I didn't use any plywood. I just wrap Owens Corning 703. Got my tall chair, got my cheapo shelf here with all my school supplies and my lion. Hello. Oh yes, I gotta point out as well my lovely Philips Hue lights I have all over my house. Outdoor strip light. There's a bulb there, a bulb there, and a bulb there. Another one there, and another one hiding behind here. Thanks for coming on my studio tour. If you wanna learn how to set up your own home studio and record vocals on your own terms, 100% check out this next video because it is my recording routine and this is the fastest way to just 
get in there and get started. You can be recording vocals in 15 minutes for free. And make sure you check out the link to my Amazon curated story. You can start building a studio for just $150 and use the free version of Pro Tools. Hit that subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.